Okay, so today I'm going to talk about proper spark plug gapping and why it is it important to gap your spark plugs. These here are two common spark plug gapping tools. Um, this one here though, I would not recommend using one of these just because, as you can see, compared to the coin style, these are both actually coin style, but this one has a, a bit of a uh, cheaper kind of way of um, gapping the tool. It's made in the USA, it's older, and um, this part right here is not good for spark plugs because you can't actually get it on to the spark plug properly and it's just a big pain so I don't like spark plug gapping tools like this for the reason that when you actually use this piece here to adjust it um, you're pushing down on the electrode and on the ceramic and it can damage it that's why we're not going to be using this one today we're going to be using this Hurricane spark plug adjusting tool and it's made in China but it's a lot better you can see this has a groove in here and it can slide over that perfect and you can just pry up to adjust it down to open up the gap and to close the gap all you do is you just squeeze the end of the spark plug on the tool and as you can see that closed the gap. Now the reason why you don't want to take your spark plug right out of your box and install it is because the manufacturer has specific uh, specifications that are going to be set for your engine. Now let's say we took this spark plug here out of the box and we were about to install it in the engine. Note you would not want to do that. Um, instead what you would do is you would look up the manufacturer specifications and let's say the specs for this engine were for a 40,000 scap. You check the gap and this is at just below 35 thousandths so that wouldn't be any good it might work but it's best to go by the manufacturer specifications so we take our gapping tool like this and we would put it over the end of the spark plug and we'd lift up just a bit just enough to open up the gap a little bit more we check it now it's just a little bit over 40 thousandths so in this case we've gone too far we would actually push down against the gapping tool to make the electrode closer to the end of the gap and then we check it so there you have it we've properly adjusted a spark plug and I've told you the reasons for adjusting a spark plug and I hope this video taught you something thanks for watching once again this was another video by Pimpin Pens please be sure to comment rate and subscribe peace out guys